Hi everybody, my name is Garth Harwood, Director of Education here at Hidden Villa's Environmental Education Program. Today, I want to talk to you about how animals can change their environment. We can think about how people change the environment by building roads, freeways, cities, and towns, but we can also think about how other animals, such as deer, might browse the trees and change them. But even the littlest animals, things like gophers, moles, and earthworms, can change the environment in amazing ways. Look right here, for example. Here I have a couple of piles of dirt. How did they get here? There's a gopher at work down there. That gopher is pushing the dirt out of tunnels that it digs and digs all day long and sometimes all night long, too. Imagine, under the ground right here, a whole network of tunnels dug out by this busy gopher. Next, we're going to look at some other animals in the holes that they might dig. So here is another kind of creature that digs tunnels underground. This one is a shrew mole, a kind of mole that tunnels underground, pushing the earth up as it goes. Can you see the trail of the mound it's been making underground? Imagine the tunnel that it leaves behind under there. A lot of other creatures might be able to live in a tunnel like that or pass through the soil safely out of view of hungry predators. And this creature is another kind of mole called the broad-footed mole. Can you see why it got that name? Notice too, it doesn't have any eyes that you can see, does it? It doesn't really need them because it lives underground in the dark, tunneling away and only occasionally comes up to the surface like this. So here we get to see something different about all those holes the animals are digging underground. If you look at this whole group of holes, do you get the idea that the earth is almost like a piece of Swiss cheese? It's so full of holes because there are moles, there's gophers, and there's even little animals like this tiniest of all North American mammals, the shrew. But there's voles and there's many other kinds of creatures that live underground too. Because they do this to the land everywhere, and because there are tunnels running all over the place, they move more earth than a bulldozer by doing a little bit every day. So now we've looked at how many holes there are in the ground. So many in one small area like this. And we've looked at some of the animals that make those holes. Now I want you to imagine how many holes there are when you go out across this entire meadow and even all over the hillsides behind me. There are thousands of tiny creatures digging away out there right now. In fact, Think about what's under your feet right now. Chances are good that there's some animals digging away under your school, under your house, under streets, and in every meadow around. Well, how does that change the earth? We don't see a whole lot of that activity on the surface, but it does make a big difference to the other plants and animals that live on the earth. For example, lots of things would like to live in a secure, cozy tunnel underground, but not all of them can dig. So there might be other animals living underground in the homes these animals create. The trees and the bushes and even the grasses, they need things underground too, including water and air. Those things can soak right into the ground a little bit, but it really helps them to have tunnels to pass through. It lets those things in there for both plants and animals to survive even better than they could without the tunnels. So those are some important ways that animals change the landscape around us. Thanks for listening, folks.